Good day! Welcome back to Math Husay Math 9 Tutorial. In this lesson, you will learn how to solve rational algebraic equations transformable into quadratic equations. Let's begin! Example number 1. Solve the rational algebraic equation 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 2. To solve this rational algebraic equation, we have to transform this into quadratic equation first. To do this, we have to find the least common multiple of the denominators. Now, we know that the LCM of 4 and x is 4x. Now, the LCM, which is 4x, will be multiplied to both sides of our equation. Now, if we multiply 4x to both sides of the equation, and we begin with the left side, so 4x times 6, that's 24x, divided by x, that will give you 24, right? Now, 4x times the quantity of x minus 3 all over 4, that will give you x times the quantity of x minus 3 because 4 can be cancelled out. Now, on the right side of the equation, you have 4x times 2, that is 8x. Now, we simplify the left side of the equation by distributing x to x minus 3. So, we have 24 plus x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x equals 8x. Now, this is not yet in standard form. We want to rewrite this in such a way the right side of the equation is 0. So, to do this, we have to add both sides of the equation by negative 8x. Now, we have x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. As you can see, this quadratic equation can be factored out. So, now that we have transformed the rational algebraic equation into quadratic equation, we can now solve for x. Now, we have to think of the factors of 24 in such a way, kapag i-add natin yung factors na yon, that will give you the middle term, which is negative 11. So, what are the factors of 24 and 24 na kung saan pag i-add natin, negative 11 ang sagot. Now, what I have in my mind is pwede ang negative 8 at negative 3, right? So, kapag minultiply natin si negative 8 with negative 3, that will be positive 24. But when you add negative 8 and negative 3, that is negative 11. So, the factors of x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0 is x minus 8 times x minus 3 equals 0. Applying the zero product property, we have two linear equations. Ang isa, x minus 3 equals 0. The other one is x minus 8 equals 0. Now, to solve for x, we have x minus 3 equals 0. So, to find x, we have to add 3 to both sides of the equation. So, the value of x is positive 3. Now, we have x minus 8 equals 0. Now, to solve for x, we have to add positive 8 to both sides of the equation. And that is, x is equal to positive 8. Now that we have the values of x, which is 3 and 8, we have to test this whether these two are solutions or roots of this rational algebraic equation. So let's do the checking. Now, if we check, we have this rational algebraic equation, we substitute the two values of x. x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 8. 
Now, when x is equal to 3, we have 6 over 3 plus 3 minus 3 over 4 equals 2. Now, we know that 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, how about this? 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, 0 divided by 4 is still 0. So, we have this. So, we know that 0 divided by 4 is 0. So, it's 2 equals 2. Now, we can say that x minus 3 is a solution of this rational algebraic equation. How about when x is equal to 8? When x is equal to 8, we have 6 over 8 plus 8 minus 3 over 4 equals 2. Note that we have 6 over 8 plus 5 over 4 equals to 2. Now, we're adding two fractions. So, the similar fractions. So, we get the LCD. So, we see that we can use 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 6 is 6. So, that's why we have 6 here. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 5, you got 10. So, 6 plus 10, it's 16 divided by 8 is still 2. Therefore, we can now say that x is equal to 3 and x equals 8 are both solutions of the rational algebraic equation 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 2. Let's have example number 2. Solve x plus 8 over x minus 2 equals 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. Again, since we're dealing with rational algebraic equation, we have to transform this first into quadratic equation. And the first step that we have to do is to find the LCM. Now, in this case, we have this fraction, right? So, our denominator is x minus 2 and the other one is x minus 2. So, in this case, it's easy to find the LCM, which is x minus 2. Now, we multiply the LCM to both sides of the equation. So, if we multiply the quantity of x minus 2 with x, you will have x times x minus 2, right? Now, if we multiply x minus 2 with 8 over x minus 2, so x minus 2 will be cancelled out. What you have is positive 8. Now, on the right side of the equation, we multiply x minus 2 with 1. So, it's still x minus 2. Now, if we multiply x minus 2 with this expression, we will only have positive 4x. Now, we simplify both sides of the equation by distributing x with x minus 2 on the left side and combining like terms on the right side of the equation. So, we have x times x is x squared. x minus, uh, x times negative 2, rather, you'll get negative 2x plus positive 8 equals 5x minus 2 because you have combined 4x and x. Now, we can rewrite this in standard form. So, Rewriting this in standard form, we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Now again, we can use different techniques in solving quadratic equation. But in this case, since this one can be factored out, so we'll use factoring. So we'll get the factor of 10 na kung saan, kapag kinuha natin yung factor na yun, that and if we add it, it should be negative 7. So, what are the factors of 10 that will give you negative 7 when you add them? So, we can choose negative 5 and negative 2 because negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. But when you add, add them, you'll get 
negative 7. So the factors of x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0 are x minus 5 and x minus 2. By applying the zero product property, we have two linear equations, x minus 5 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So to solve for x in this equation, we have to add positive 5 to both sides of the equation. Hence, we have the value of x equals 5. On x minus 2 equals 0, we have to add positive 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have x is equal to 2. Now, again, this is not yet the final answer because we have to check it in the original rational algebraic equation. So let's do the checking. Now, we will substitute the values of x which is equal to 5 and equal to 2. Now, when x is equal to 5, we see that we have 5 plus 8 over 5 minus 2 equals 1 plus 4 times 5 all over 5 minus 2. So the denomina denominator is 3. So we have 5 plus 8 over 3 equals 1 plus 20, that's 4 times 5, all over 3. Now, to add these fractions, para mas mabilis, you copy the denominator, 3. 3 times 5, that's 15. You add it with 8, that will give you 23 over 3. Now, in this side, 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 20 is still 23 over 3. Hence, we can say that x equals 5 is a solution or a root of this algebraic, rational algebraic equation. Now, when x is equal to 2, we substitute the values of x in our rational algebraic equation. Now, as you can see, in the denominator, we have 2 minus 2, so which is 0, right? So, it is now undefined. So, since it is undefined, so x equals 2 is not a solution. We call it an extraneous root. So, pag sinabi natin extraneous root, these are a solution of the original equation but not valid solution. So, again, so we can say that the only solution for this algebraic, rational algebraic equation is positive 5. Please pause the video and try these exercises. And don't forget to type your answers on the comment section. Kung may natutunan kayo sa tutorial na ito, huwag kalimutang i-like, share, at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Tandaan, ang sikreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Kita-kit sa susunod na aralin. Bye!